Hi, this is Tzvi, livingworldgear.com and I wanted to share with you today about the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, one of the appointed times of our Creator found in the Bible in Leviticus 23. And specifically I wanted to speak about the meaning from the Hebrew uh, in the Bible of the word for atonement, a word that sometimes can be a little vague in English and other languages and um, I'm going straight into it. Leviticus 23, it says that on the 10th day of the 7th month will be Yom HaKippurim. First of all, you may not be familiar with the term Yom HaKippurim. It is in the plural form in the Bible. The words in the singular Yom Kippur do not appear. Yom HaKippurim or Yom HaKippurim with an Engli anglicized accent uh, will be translated literally as the Day of Atonements. So, what is Atonements? Kippurim or Kippur in the singular. In the English, the, day, the word Atonement can be defined like a reparation for a wrong or injury to amend the reconciliation of God and humankind eh, from a religious perspective. But in the Hebrew, however, the word or the root word for Kippur, that is Kafar, has a very specific and graphic meaning. The first time that this word appears in the Bible is in Genesis chapter 6, sorry, Genesis chapter 6, verse 14, in a completely different context way back when, before there was an Ark of the Covenant and before there was a people of Israel, Noah was commanded to build an Ark. And in Genesis 6.14, uh, the Almighty said to Noah, Make for yourself an Ark of gopher wood. Rooms shall you make in the Ark and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. Now, if I tell you that the root word for to pitch and pitch has to do with the word kafar, atonement, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because we try to think about it like atonement or to atone. But now follow along with me. In the Hebrew it says, and you shall pitch it, in Hebrew, ve chafarta, from the root word kafar, in a verb form, uh, within and without, with kofer, with pitch. So, pitch, or kofer, was this substance that Noah used to cover the ark, that's the key word, cover the ark. So, you shall cover the ark instead of pitch it imagine you shall cover the ark within and without with kofer now even the word kofer sounds a lot like the word cover kofer cover linguistically i do not have evidence to substantiate that they are related but I wouldn't be surprised if they were. So, Noah covered the ark with kofer. That is the root word for the word kippur, or atonement. So now if you let that sink in for a second and think about the meaning that can have a, for Noah's life and his family and his protection, a, that will already give deeper understanding. Now, the next uh, place I want to go to is in Exodus 25. And this is one of the words that uh, was translated in the English in one of the poorest ways that could be. Uh, and is the mercy seat. When the, the Lord commands the, uh, Moses uh, to make the ark and everything else, all the utensils and everything. And in verse 17 it says, And you shall make a mercy seat of pure gold 
two cubits and a half uh, and a half shall be the length thereof and a cubit and a half the breadth breadth thereof so a mercy seat in the Hebrew is the kaporet again that word okay kaporet was called kaporet for two reasons one that was like the top of the ark so is covering the ark all that is within the tablets of stone and the rod of iron etc that was the cover the kaporet i have no idea why that was translated in the english as the mercy seat uh, but in hebrew it has a direct relation with to cover the cover of the ark the kaporet so the second reason why this was called the kaporet was because one day out of the year in Yom HaKippurim, the Day of Atonement, the High Priest would go inside of the Kodesh Kodashim, the Holy of Holies, and would uh, sprinkle the blood of the goat over the Kaporet on Yom HaKippurim to atone or to cover our transgressions. Okay, so the best way that I would translate Yom HaKippurim would be the day of coverings was the day in which our transgressions would be covered with the blood of the sacrifice and uh, I hope that this uh, helps you uh, gain a deeper understanding of this day uh, for your life and your own improvement and um, I bid you Shalom